I'd like to give you a little help on how to find the sides of a couple of special triangles, namely a 30-60-90 right triangle and a 45-45-90 right triangle. And sometimes these get confusing for students. And if you understand how to do them a different way, that's great. But if you need a little bit different method, this might work. Now, first of all, we know if I have two triangles that are 45, 45, 90, it's an isosceles triangle. And here's another one. It's 45, 45, 90. And these are different than that other one because this one's obviously bigger. But these two triangles are going to be similar to each other because they're, they're both 45, 45, 90. So the angle-angle theorem says these are going to be similar triangles. So let's, let's use this idea, and let's also use this reference triangle. Here's a 45, 45, 90. And if I know this side is 1, then I know this side is 1. And I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side. So 1 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. So 1 plus 1 equals c squared. So 2 equals c squared. So c is going to be the square root of 2. So my reference triangle then looks like this. I've got this triangle. And it's 1, 1, square root of 2. That's if it's a 45, 45, 90. Now if I've got any other triangle that's a 45, 45, 90, I know it's going to be similar to that one. So let's say that I knew this was like mm, 7, but I know these things are the same. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to call them X and Y. And I'm going to use the idea of similar triangles to solve proportions for these X and Ys. Now, I know they're the same, but it's going to look like this. So I'm going to draw out essentially a little tic-tac-toe board, and I'm going to write 45, 45, 90 in that tic-tac-toe board. Now, on my reference triangle... I know that across from one of the 45s is a 1, from the other 45 is a 1, and from the 90 is the square root of 2. I want to do the same thing with this triangle. Across from one of the 45s is a Y, across from one of them is an X, and across from the right angle is a 7. Now, I'm going to just use two columns here to set up a proportion. Let's say I'm going to find x first. Well, 7 over the square root of 2 equals x over 1. So my first proportion looks like this. Well, x over 1 is just x, so x must be 7 over the square root of 2. Now, I need to rationalize it because I don't like the square root on the bottom, so I'll do that over here. 7 over the square root of 2. Multiply it by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And that's 7 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So this side right here, the x, is going to be 7 root 2 over 2. Now, I know these two sides are the same. So that works out. But if I wanted to do it like a proportion, then I could easily do that the same way. Again, I'll use the 7 and the square root of 2. But this time, I'll use the y and the 1. And so it would look like this. Uh, 7 over the square root of 2 equals y over 1. Now, you notice that looks a whole lot like what I did here, just the letters different. But this is how I could use reference this reference triangle and the idea of similar triangles to solve the, for, for sides of this 30 of this 45 45 90 triangle now let's talk about a 30 60 90 triangle for just a second on a 30 60 90 triangle we know that this side is one this side is two and this side is the square root of three so it's a little bit different on this one the square root is across from the, the 60. On this triangle, the square root was across from the, the, 40, from the uh, 90 degrees. This was part of the hypotenuse. But here's the reference triangle for a 30, 60, 90. So let's come up with another triangle. Again, it's a 30, 60, 90. And let's say, I'll make it a harder one, let's say this is 4. Okay, so I know these triangles are similar because they're both 30, 60, 90. My tic-tac-toe reference is going to say 30, 60, 90. 
Now, on my reference triangle, across from the 30 is a 1, across from the 60 is a square root of 3, and across from the 90 is a 2. When I look at this triangle, across from the 60 is a 4, across from the 30, I don't know it, let's call it x, and across from the 90, I don't know that one, let's call it y. So again, just like before, I'm going to pick two of these ratios. So I'm going to use these first two here. And what that tells me is that x over 1 equals 4 over square root of 3. Now you say, Coach, how do I know which ones to use? Well, you have to use the one that has numbers in both spots as one of the choices. Then, if you want to find x, pick that one. If you want to find y, pick that one. We're going to do them both. So there it is, x over 1. That's already what x is, x is 4 over the square root of 3, but I have to rationalize it. So that's 4 square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. And square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So this side is this side. Now let's figure out what y is, this side up here. Okay, so now I'm going to use these two ratios. So I've got y over 2 equals 4 over the square root of 3. So I could, perhaps you want to cross multiply, that's fine. Uh, square root of 3 times y equals 8. The square root of 3 times y equals 8. Now divide by the square root of 3. And y equals 8 over root 3. Again, you've got to rationalize it. So this is 8 root 3 over 3. So this hypotenuse is 8 root 3 over 3. Now some of you guys will say, wait a minute, coach. I noticed that my hypotenuse is twice as long is the side opposite 30. Yeah, yeah, that's the way that works. The hypotenuse is twice as long as the side opposite 30. So if you remember that and you can work on that way, great, do it. If you struggle a little bit with that, this tic-tac-toe reference is really, really helpful. So I wanna draw it one more time. Here's my tic-tac-toe reference. If it's 45, 45, 90, my reference is 1, 1, square root of 2. you got to remember that. And then put your pieces on that as appropriate. If it's a 30, 60, 90, your reference is 1, square root of 3, 2. And then you plug in the appropriate spots. Now you say, what if it's not 45, 45, 90, or 30, 60, 90? That's when you have to use your trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. And that's for a different lesson. Hope that helps.